Hi and welcome to Code Race. In this video I'm going to show you a few quick races and then I'll show you how to create your own race at the end. In this first race I'm going to show you VARES versus non-VARES. I admit I wrote this program trying to prove that VARES are slower because when I started coding in C-sharp VARES didn't exist. So my current code base at work has a lot of VARES and turns out I was wrong. Oh that's hard for me to say. I was wrong. There I said it. I thought I was wrong once, but it turns out I was mistaken that time. But this time I was actually wrong. Turns out VARES, when, by the time it's compiled, the VARES and non-VARES is just about the same. I've seen both of them win. In this case, the, in this case, the uh, VARES won, but I've seen the other ones win just as many times. Race number two, I'm going to show you for each versus for n type of a loop. This is another little simple race and I was wrong again twice in one day but about 10 years ago I tested this and it turned out for each loops were much slower than while you were debugging but during the EXE it wasn't much difference but in this case I now see it's just about the same so the for each loop wins it's a little bit faster so I guess casting through the loop each time you, know, you can download the code and look at it yourself it's a real simple little race in this case, the for each loop one. So, okay, that's race number two. Now we're going to go on to race number three, which is division versus multiplication. In this race, I did a simple divided by four for the division, or I timed it by 0.25 for the multiplication. Turns out the multiplication is just a little bit faster, but it's not very much. And this, I think, the results come out here. I'll show you here in just a second. Yeah, it's 1,000 to 965, so it's a little bit faster for multiplication, but this runs a 1,000 times for each iteration, and I'll show you how, how many times it runs for each, each individual segment of a race. And the last one I'm going to show you is the class versus the interface. This is another that I, I my personal guess, the C-sharp compiler in my brain thought the class was going to be faster, but it turns out the interface just a little bit faster, but... Again, a lot of this has to do, these both run in background threads, and it depends on how much resources your computer gives to each thread. It tends to have a little bit more to do with it than the code itself. But it does look like the interface is just a little bit faster than the interface one, but it's just not very, 991 to 1,000, so pretty much even. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create your own race. So we're going to open up Visual Studio. The first thing you're going to want to do is copy the code brace item template from the template folder then you're going to want to copy this into your documents folder for Visual Studio and cover your username and whatever version of Visual Studio you want to pause that to get the path and then once you have that you can now go to the races folder and we're going to create our first race so We'll go ahead and click on the new item, and the code race template shows up right there. Here I'm going to show you casting versus as. So there's two different ways to cast an object. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to create two lists. I have a little sample object called the person I included with the project just to give you something to test with. And I'll use Regionizer, a little program of mine, to create the property. Another open source project of mine. All right. So now we have our person list. We're going to go to the init method. This is all in the item template. Creates all the stuff for you. So we're going to give name one will be casting, and name two will be as. And I'm going to crank the loops up to 150,000. See how fast. And we're going to go ahead and create both of our lists. I'll create person list one. In person list two, just to give us a couple lists to work. With. And now we're going to go ahead and fill up both lists. So I'm going to do a simple for int loop and load it up to the number of loops. And I'm going to create a add a person to each list. I have a little bit of code in the constructor of the person just to create a GUID, just to give us something to test against. And I'll add the person to person list to all. Okay, that's our init method. Now we're going to go ahead and create the run race one method. 
say that 10 times fast. And all we're going to do here is iterate the person list as an object. We, in real life, I realize you could just type person for the ob where object is, but this is just for a demonstration so we can see which one is faster. And I'm going to create a little person object and I'm going to cast my person object as a person. Can't type here, sorry. And I'll do a little comparison just to make sure the person exists. I know in this case it will, but in reality, we were casting some unknown type. And I'll use my auto commenter or regionizer to fill in that comment for me so I didn't have to type it. And this is just to slow this down a little bit because I ran this once during testing and it runs so fast if I didn't have something here that this. And that's our person list one. I'll copy that to my clipboard and go into run race two. And it turns out I erased my clipboard. Let me copy that again. I hate it when I do that by accident. Okay. Paste over at this time. There. And I'll change this to person list two. And instead of casting the person, we're going to say as person. This is the same effect. The this the as person is actually safer if you don't know what type of object. But that's all of our code, and we'll see if everything compiles. Okay. Now we're going to shut down Visual Studio and show you how show you the actual results of the race we just created. And one nice thing you'll notice, it fills in the races for you. You don't have to do anything. That's automatically, it reads the races folder and it adds everything. So that's how simple it is to create a code race. And we'll go ahead and start this race and we'll see the results. I've ran this before. It turns out to be just about neck and neck. And a lot of this, these both run in background threads. And a lot of this has to do with how much resources each, you know, your computer gives to each thread. The code itself turns out to be just about even as far as how long it takes for each run. It looks like the as is a little bit ahead, but we'll see which one wins. All right, and the as wins. So that was another simple race, but that's how easy it is. This is a simple little program. If you like it, enjoy. You know, this doesn't it's nothing really super useful, but if you ever want to test two methods, see which gets the best performance results. And that's Code Race. Thanks for watching.